I update my bicep. Uh, this Thursday will be 10 weeks since I ruptured my uh, bicep and had the surgery repaired. You can see the scar now. It's, it's going away pretty much. But I've been to Tijuana before. Uh, a while back, I had an issue with my wrist. I couldn't arm wrestle for five years. And then my friend Robert Baxter introduced me to this place, and I met Ben back then. And uh, we did a few shots in there. I came for a couple of treatments. And within six months, I went from not arm wrestling for five years to being number one in the state of Michigan at 242. And then I went on and won uh, probably five or six more different state championships. But unfortunately, I tore my bicep off the bone and uh, I was extended in the match, it came off. And not only was it torn off the bone, but I had fraying in my tendon. So they had to drill a hole in my bone and then attach it with some sutures and, we, and then pull it down and put it in the bone and fix it to the other side. And I'm here to help the healing process. And uh, what do you think these stem cells can do for this healing for me? All right, so unfortunately the situation to have you here back here, but uh, we're going to use some uh, mesenchymal stem cells from placenta and umbilical cord to heal the tendon, help the healing process of the tendon look pretty much localized. We got the MRIs and everything to, to work with. And we're going to do some of the uh, also stem cells through the IV, which are going to get to the rest of the muscle and hopefully help with the small tears that that were caused by the, the full um, tear. So that's what we're gonna do. And do you think that's gonna help uh, speed up the healing process? Definitely, yeah. Does that make any difference in like, maybe possibly making it come back stronger or would it just heal it faster? Or would it It'll it heal it faster and your recovery process and physical therapy that you, you can do, that's what's gonna make it stronger. Okay. You know, but yeah, definitely gonna heal it faster. It's been 10 weeks, we can start the process now. And that's what we're going to do for my arm. I'll keep you updated on how it goes. Uh, at week 12, which is basically two and a half weeks from today, I'm allowed to start using my bicep with some light weights. So I think that this would probably help taking those couple weeks off and getting ready to Definitely. go. Definitely. We actually need you to take those couple weeks off, but you should get started. Yeah, you can get started in two weeks. No problem. Now, outside of my injury, I have friends ask me all the time questions about stem cells because they're very curious about coming here. I actually had a buddy reach out to me today, and he was curious if he, he has arthritic shoulders or arthritis in his knees. Do stem cells help with arthritis? Yeah, definitely. Arthritis, because it enhances the healing process. Remember, every time you have inflammation, it's because you have something's being repaired. That's what arthritis means. But if you stop the process with anti-inflammatories, then it creates arthrosis, right? And that's when the problems, the chronic issues start. So we can do stem cells in the joints and help the healing process. The arthritis gets better and then you don't create the osteoarthrosis. So it looks like that's gonna help you, sir. And another one of my friends is an avid jogger and he's jogging, his knees been bothering him. He had an MRI done they see he still has some cartilage left, but he, he does, he's older guys in his early 50s, but he's lacking some cartilage in his knees. Could stem cells help repair his knees? Definitely. As long as you still have cartilage, you can regrow cartilage. If you're bone on bone, that's hard to do because you have no cartilage. You need something there for the cells to uh, have stimuli, stimuli and then create more cartilage. So as long as he still have, has some, we can still help it. Well, as you see, I'm, I'll be uh, 48 years old in July. Like, uh, you know, so a lot of my friends are getting older like I am. Is there any, what if you're like 48 years old, 50 years old, and you're completely healthy? Uh, can you use stem cells for like anti-aging? Yeah, the anti-aging process is whenever you get stem cells through an IV, they'll find wherever you have damage that you probably don't even realize yet. So that's how the anti-aging uh, part of stem cells work. You know, you get it through an IV, whatever's wrong inside your system, you don't even realize it'll get uh, treated basically. And then your whole metabolism is better. So yeah. And I've been researching because you know, I like to build big muscles and stuff. It's kind of fun. <clears throat> so I, for a bodybuilder, 
like if you're going to do bodybuilding, could stem cells to your IV and then you work out, could it actually be similar to like a growth hormone where you actually could grow new muscle cells? Not a lot of evidence, but it will help the repairing process. Yeah, it'll make it faster. So you rip the muscle and it, that makes it grow. So yes, it could stimulate the growth, but it'll help more in the repairing. So say someone's bodybuilding, right? <clears throat> and as you get older, I'm sure stem cells aren't as good as they are when you get older compared to like a 22 year old kid. I mean, it'll help more to repair. With the stem cells, how long do they last in my body before I have to come again? Each, it, no, well, each stem cell has, it has a, medium lifespan, but the thing is they go and turn into specific type of tissue and then they keep, they create mitosis so that the DNA of that stem cell keeps working for a long time. That's how, I mean, in, in your system doing nothing, I don't know, probably three months. Three months. Yeah, approximately. So like, if I was just coming here because I just want to stay healthy and I want the anti-aging benefits, how often would you recommend something like that? Yeah, every six months to a year. Every six yeah. months to a year. And uh, what would the cost of something like that be for the average person? Just for maintenance. Just if you want to come to this Tijuana, this beautiful facility, and you just want to get some anti-aging, put, put in your IV. The what? The what? About the approximate cost for someone to do that, you think? Depends on weight and what we want to address. So probably a whole treatment, I don't know, probably looking at three, just for stem cells, 1500 to 1500 Now, 1500 I, I think you mentioned to me earlier, is, is the price still 7 million cells for, uh, what was it, like $400? Here, for here we cells? use, prices vary, but here we use vials for 7 million. 7 million. 7 million cells. You can check the prices at administration. But. Yeah, it was wrong. I, I remember being here somewhere mm -hmm. roughly around four to seven hundred dollars, I believe, compared to. It's all on the, the web page. You can page yeah. So the, it tells you on the web page. Well, thank you for your time and the interview. Pleasure. I can't wait Pleasure. to get the stem cells started. All right, thank you. Have a good day.